JCA, welcome to Strength Circuit with your instructor, Sarah Perfido. Strength Circuit is a class, we're gonna do five rounds of five exercises, 30 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds to rest and transition, and then we're gonna have a minute break between rounds. During that time, you can join me for cardio or you can just rest and catch your breath. For our class, you're gonna need a band with handles, you're gonna need a couple of pairs of dumbbells. I always like to have something heavier and lighter for options and a mat for any of our floor exercises. But for now, let's go ahead and get started with a nice dynamic warm up, starting with a knee hug. Go ahead and grab your knee, open that chest posture, and then hands are wide, feel the stretch between your shoulders and switching sides. Take your time on this warm up. This is where you get loose and ready for our high intensity workout. Looking good. Let's go number three and switching sides. Beautiful. Four, we're really keeping tall posture as we open our chest and bring our knee up rather than our chest down. Good. Let's go two more both sides, feeling the stretch in the hip flexors, hamstring, core, upper back. Last one. Great. Next up, alternating leg swings. I'm gonna step out, swing across with my opposite hand, and then I'm gonna step down and swing across opposite hand. And you're just gonna alternate. So step and swing, step and swing. You control the height, so if you're feeling tight and less flexible, we're just gonna do a lower swing. As you loosen up, you can increase that range of motion. Good. This is number four. Five, six, swinging across opposite hand. Seven, let's go for 12. Eight, nine, looking good. 10, 11, and 12. Next up, dynamic hip openers. Starting with my left leg, I'm gonna come into a high knee then lift my knee and heel over imaginary vertel, tap down for balance, and bring it back around. Movement should be in my hip, not my waist, so I want my belly button staying straight ahead. Good, two, we're gonna stick on that same side, arm on the left. Three. Good. Four. Five. Six, two more. Seven, last one, and eight. We're gonna switch sides. I got my right leg starting with my high knee, up and over, imagine a hurdle, tap down for balance, bring it back around, good. One, two, movements in the hip, not the waist, so belly button stays straight ahead. Three, good. Four, Five, six, seven, one more over and back, and eight. First leg alternating, over, back, second leg, over, back, first leg, over, back, and second leg. Good work. Reverse lunge with rotation. I'm gonna step back, bend my back knee, rotate, Come back, switching sides. Step back, bend my back knee, rotate towards that bent leg, and switch. Let's keep going. Lunge, rotate, good. Lunge, rotate. One more, both sides. Lunge, rotate, good. Lunge, and rotate. Beautiful. Let's get a little bit more blood flow. We can back up, give yourself some space. We're just gonna do a little bit of forward and backwards jogs. Let's go forward, you tap down, and back pedal. Two more times, tap. Forward, and tap, back pedal, and tap. Last one, forward, and tap, back pedal, and tap. Side shuffle, 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 and tap, shuffle, 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 and tap. Two more times. Really getting your warmed up, get the heart rate going. And 
top. Last time. Coming up next, karaoke. We're gonna cross in front, cross behind. Twist the hips. Good, and bring it back. One more time, down and back. And again. Nice, next exercise, a skip. This is like a high knee skip. We're gonna let that back leg drag. A little plyometric action here. Hands move cheek to cheek. So we get that A skip. And turn around, bring it back. Looking good, high knee drive. And again, one more time, A skip. Turn around, bring it back. Next stop, lateral A skip. We're moving sideways. Same exercise though. Hands move cheek to cheek. Still getting that nice high knee drive. Keep the stance narrow. We'll stay in place for three, two, one, and bring it back. Feeling the glutes really warm up here. Slight lean forward. Hands move cheek to cheek. Three, two, and one, good job. Warm up the hamstring, stepping forward, toe is up, hips go back, reach down, and step it through. Dynamic hamstring stretch. Good. Let's turn around. We'll do a little walking quad stretch. Grabbing your ankle, extend your arm, balance, and walk and switch. Good. Perfect. And now let's stretch our adductors. Let's step into a side lunge. Hips go back. We want to feel this in the inner thigh, maybe in the groin. We can press into this hip. Open up that castle a little. Experiment with open high chest or even low chest. And when you're ready, switching sides, sitting back into the other hip, pressing into this capsule, open chest or low chest. If you need to, you can lift your toe, help out the hamstring. Beautiful. Couple more warm ups. Let's do inchworms. Hands above your head, lifting your chest, baby back bend, squeeze the glutes. Reach down towards the ground. You're going to feel the hamstring stretch. Walk yourself forward. Hit that plank. And then go ahead and let's open up into a T rotation. Beautiful. And then we'll open up other side. T rotation. Back to our plank. Crawl yourself back. Hamstring stretch. Reaching overhead. Baby back bend. And again, this time you're going to walk forward. Hit your plank. When you get to the edge, step forward with the right leg. Hip flexor stretch. Take your time. You can rock and roll in this position. You can open that hip. Both hands down, stepping back and switching sides. You can rock and roll, open the hip. Stepping back, walk yourself back up. Hands above your head, baby back bend. And again, coming forward, hit your plank, T rotation. Just making sure everything's nice and warmed up. You can modify for any of this. Walking back. Last time, we're gonna walk forward. Come into that hip flexor stretch. You can always bring that back knee down if you need to. And switching sides. From here, we're gonna put both our legs back and we're gonna press through our hands into our hips, pushing into a pike position. And we're just gonna stretch out the calves while we're still warming up. So all we have to do is push our hips away and our heels toward the ground. Feel free to pedal here. Very similar to a downward dog position here, just to stretch out those calves. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna walk yourself back up. Great job. Let's go ahead and grab your band for the final part of our warm up. We're gonna do a little bit of activation exercises and upper body mobility. Let's take your band for the pass throughs. Arms are wide, finding your posture. We're gonna go over and back. We don't wanna get stuck. So if you feel like you are shrugging or bending, you wanna just spread out that grip. Let's go five, good, four, beautiful, three, two, 
And one, next up, helicopter, left arm down, right arm up. Make an L and repeat, one, two, three, right arm down, left arm up, making an L, swing across, one, two, and three, and now all the way around, swing across the L, behind the head, circle through, and across the body, putting in the seatbelt. L behind, circle through, beautiful. So here's your helicopter, one more. Good, let's go both arms up, we've got a nice Y, finding posture, chest is up, tuck the hips, and we're gonna pull with the left, push with the right as we lean to the side, open the chest, drive the shoulders down, and you're gonna feel this stretch through the lats, through the side. If you drive your shoulders down through the trap, you can look towards the underarm, and you can really open that rib towards the sky. Beautiful. And come back to your center Y and switching sides, stretching the lats. We're gonna go to the stretch one more time, and this time, after you've gotten to your deepest lat stretch, I want you to push into the hip and get that nice side bend. In and fill the obliques. And come back center and the other side. Beautiful. From here, let's move your hands up to shoulder level. Wrists are gonna rotate, so we have palms up for a band pull apart. We're gonna activate that rear delt and the back, warming up our postural support muscles. So chest is lifted, exhale as we go. One, the wider you grab, the easier it is, the more narrow your grip, the harder. Two, three, four, no shrugging. Five, six, good, band pull apart. Seven, eight, your arms are straight, but we're leading with the elbow. Nine, 10, five more. Five, good. Four, three, two, and one. Great job. Next exercise, final warm up exercise, glute activation. We're going to stand on the band so it's under the arch of your foot. And we can either pull the arms up straight to the hips, or we can even cross to make an X and pull up as well. Any of that to create intensity. Shoulders back, core tight, tuck the hips. We're gonna lead with the left heel as we step out and back, wanting to step about six to eight inches. Two, good, tuck and squeeze the glutes. Three, four, five, perfect. Six, seven, good. Eight, two more. Nine, and 10, switching sides. One, we're warming up the glutes. Two, Three, four, find your posture. Five, tuck and squeeze. Six, every rep, squeeze the glutes. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, and 10. Great job, go ahead and grab a sip of water. We're gonna get started with your workout. Strength circuit, five rounds of five exercises, total body, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, followed by a minute for cardio or recovery. Our first exercise is a dumbbell power clean from a hang. So we're gonna hold the dumbbells at your side in the hang position, posture, shoulders back, feet are kind of in the squat position, shoulders apart, toes turned out. We're gonna stick the hips out in this ready position. We're gonna jump off the ground, coming into almost like a calf raise, and then transferring that power from our legs into a powerful shrug, big shrug of your life. And then we're gonna flip the dumbbells and catch into a mini squat. That's our first exercise. Our next exercise, we'll move to the ground for a, a tricep push-up. So regular push-up here, tricep will stay nice and tight. We're on the floor, lowering yourself down or modified on the knees. And we'll go into the Romanian deadlift. Next, dumbbells at your side, hips go back. And we're gonna get started soon and I'm gonna coach you through all those exercises. So let's start with the dumbbell clean. Getting into your ready position, squat position. 10 seconds until we start. Remember, it's all about that powerful shrug. We've got 30 seconds of work. Starting in three, two, and one. 30 seconds. Shrug, mini squat. Good, you're going to your own pace. The first round is always the easiest. And if you can, count your reps. 
So each subsequent round, you can either beat or maintain what you did this time. Beautiful. You're doing a subtle jump, transferring that power from the lower body to the upper body with that explosive shrug. Three seconds. Two. Good job. 10 seconds to rest and transition. Moving to the ground for that tricep push up. You can modify on the knees. Thumbs at the nipple line, elbows tight. Begin. Tricep push up. Make sure you keep those shoulders packed, engage the core. Looking good. We're halfway. 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds of transition. Next exercise, dumbbell Romanian deadlift. Dumbbells are at the seam of the pants. Feet straight ahead, hip width apart. Open the chest, hips go back. Feel the stretch, powerful glute squeeze. Beautiful, we've got 30 seconds on the clock. We're not reaching for the ground, but we're extending our hips backwards. Good, 15 seconds to go. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. Three, two, and one. We're moving to the floor, we're gonna lay on our back for a floor dumbbell lat pullover. So I'm taking the dumbbell, I'm reaching back, feeling the stretch, and then driving through my underarms, driving with my lats to feel this exercise. So above the chest, reach back, touch the floor, exhale, drive through the armpits, back to above the chest. If you're able, you can rotate the grip to get a bigger range of motion. Beautiful. You could also do this from a bench, if you have one, get an even better range of motion. Great job, transition. Next exercise, we're gonna stay down on the ground for core work with a heel touch. Knees are bent, lifting up, reach the heel and switch sides. We've got 30 seconds on the clock, keeping our low back down, our chin slightly tucked, and we're just working that core. The more you can keep your shoulder blades off the mat, the more work you're gonna feel. 10 seconds. Five seconds, stay with me. Four, three, two, good job. We've got a minute, we just finished our first round. This is your chance to grab some water and do optional cardio, completely up to you. Depends on how you're feeling. Grab some water. Today, my cardio choice is gonna be a switch kick. So for this, I'm gonna be on the floor in the crab position, fingers facing my toes, lifting up, taking the work into my core, and then I'm gonna lift one leg, kick, and switch. So right now I'm showing you a non-impact version, but if you're feeling strong, if you want to up the intensity, we can add a jump and hop. It's a little faster or even faster. We've got 15 more seconds to go before we start round two. So if you're doing cardio, keep pushing it, if you're recovering, that's great too. 10 seconds, looking good. Five seconds, three, two, and one. 10 seconds to transition before we go back to round two. Dumbbell, power clean. Three, two, one, let's go. Jump shrug, catch, beautiful. Hips back, jump shrug, catch, keep them. Weight close to your side, big shrug. Beautiful, we're halfway. Jump shrug, catch into a mini squat. Jump shrug, catch into a mini squat. This should feel explosive. That's all about that powerful shrug, shoulders to ears. Three, two, one. Transition, we're moving to the floor. Round two, tricep push-ups, keep it nice and tight. So in the back of the arm. 30 seconds, let's go. Remember, you can always modify down to your knees if you need to. We're 
We're 15 seconds in. 15 seconds to go. You're doing great. 10 seconds. Stay with me. Five, four, three, two, and time. 10 seconds to transition. I'm going to grab my heavier dumbbells. Romanian deadlift. Holding the dumbbell at the seam of my pants. Throw those shoulders back. Feet hip width apart. 30 seconds. Let's go. Feel the hamstring stretch. Powerful glute squeeze to lock out. Stretch. Squeeze. If you can, count your reps. Compare it to the previous round. Did you beat or maintain? That's the goal. Beautiful. 10 seconds to go. Remember, this is horizontal. We want to shift our weight back. Not reach down for the floor, but shift back. Beautiful. And recover. Transition to the floor. I'm doing the floor. Dumbbell lat pullover. And begin. 30 seconds. Reaching back. Feeling the stretch through our lats. Making sure we have space on the floor to get that nice range of motion. Good. And we want to feel this by driving the shoulder blades down. We want to feel this in your back, not just the arms. Keep that low back pressed into the floor, engage the core. Great work. And recover. I'm staying down for the final exercise. Heel touch. My feet are down, my knees are bent. Lift up into a subtle crunch and touch the heels. Alternating sides, good work. You're pushing your low back down, drawing the belly button in tight, engaging the pelvic floor with that cable squeeze, and really trying to keep the entire shoulder blade off the floor. Good. You're doing great, we're halfway there. Stay with it. Round two complete. We have a minute to transition, recover, or do cardio. If you want to join me with cardio, I'm back to switch kicks. Toes straight ahead, fingers straight from the toes, lifting up into my crab position, engaging my core, starting off, non-impact, and then increasing my intensity. We've got 40 seconds to go. You can also grab water. Looking good. 30 seconds. Stay strong. Keep moving. If you're flexible, if you've got great balance, you can kick higher. You can add more intensity, more power. 15 seconds, we're almost there. Woo! 10 seconds, stay with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Go ahead and grab some water. We're starting round three. Remember, the goal is to be or maintain. So if you're counting your reps, you've got to keep that intensity, keep that pace. Dumbbell power clean. Hips back. Jump, shrug, catch. Beautiful. 25 seconds to go. It's all about that explosive upright power. Triple extension at the ankle, knee, and hip. Good. So jump. It's okay if you come off the ground. Or it might feel like a big calf raise. Eight seconds. Don't forget the shrug. We're transferring the power we generate from the lower body to the upper body. Transition. We're moving to the floor. Dumbbells down. Tricep push-ups. Same general position. Keeping the arms tight and packed in. 30 seconds. Clock is ticking. You're looking great, looking strong. If you need to modify, we can drop to the knees. We're already halfway. 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Transition. Good job. Grab some water if you need it. Grab your dumbbells. Dumbbell Romanian deadlift. Shoulders back, core tight. Feet are hip width, toes straight ahead. 30 seconds, let's go. Stretch, squeeze, powerful glute lockout. Two, every rep, make sure you exhale and create some power. 
Beautiful. Count your reps. See if you can beat or maintain previous rounds. 10 seconds to go. Woo! Five seconds. Three, two, and one. 10 seconds to transition, moving to the floor. Dumbbell lat pull over. I'm on my back. My knees are bent, feet are flat. Great work, reaching over my head. Dumbbell touches the ground, drive through my lats. Arms are straight above my chest. Reach, pause, drive. We wanna feel this in your back, not just arms. So think you're moving from the armpit. There we go. Exhale. You're also gonna feel a lot of core stabilization. Squeeze those abs, squeeze the glutes, and stay with me. You're doing great. Beautiful transition. We're gonna stay down on the floor. Next exercise. In five seconds, heel touch crunch. So go ahead and lift up, shoulder blades up, and then reach your heels and tap each side. The higher you stay up, the more you're working that core. Press that low back into the ground, engage the deep intrinsic core muscles, engage the muscles of the pelvic floor with that cable. Make sure you're breathing, chin slightly tucked, and keep going. You can do this. Woo! We're more than halfway. Stay strong. Come on. Woo! Round three complete. A minute to transition and recover or do some cardio. If you want to, join me for switch hips. Crab position. Let's go. Remember, you can always take away that impact. Or you can bring it back. 35 seconds left. Keep moving. I know you feel it, but that's entirely the point. 30 seconds. Use the core. 25. Woo, come on. 20. 15. We've got this. Stay with me. 12. 10. Extension, ankle, knee, hip, big, powerful shrug. Halfway. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Ten seconds of transition. Moving to the floor, dumbbells down, tricep push up. Remember, pack the shoulders, thumbs at the nipple line. And begin. 30 seconds on the clock. Looking strong. We're already halfway, everyone. Stay with it, stay with me. 10 seconds to go. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the core. Final five, four, three, two, one. Transition. Let's go ahead and stand up. Grab your dumbbells again. Romania deadlift. Keep the weight on the seam of the pants. Shoulders back. Core tight. Feet hip width. 30 seconds. Stretch. Squeeze. Good job. Load the hips and then explode. Finishing with a powerful glute walkout at the top. Boom. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. You're doing great. Stay strong, keep moving. Remember, it's horizontal, not vertical. Shift the hips back. Four, three, two, and one. Transition, we're moving to the floor. Floor, dumbbell, lat pull over. You can always do this from a bench if you have one to increase the range of motion. 30 seconds. Let's go, back is flat. Knees are bent. Reach back, feel the stretch, touch the ground. Exhale, pull from the other arms. Bring that weight to chest level. 
arms are straight, but elbows are not locked out. So they're always soft at the joint, avoiding excessive hyperextension. Good. Breathe through the rep and use your core to facilitate the pull. Transition. We've got 10 seconds. Next exercise, stand down. Heel touch, crunch. Let's do it. 30 seconds on the clock. Slight tuck of the chin, pressing the low back down. Engage the deep intrinsic core. Engage the pelvic floor. Shoulder blades are up. Come on. Woo! You've got this. I know it burns. Work through it. Can you beat your reps from the round before? Come on. Stay with me. We did it. One minute on the clock. Grab some water or join me for cardio of your choice. Switch kicks. We're doing great. We just finished our fourth round. We only have one more round to go before we finish the strength circuit. 40 seconds left. Stay with me, stay strong. Keep moving. You've got this, just focus. 25 seconds. Come on. Stay with me. 20 seconds. Don't quit, don't slow down. 15 seconds. 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 10 seconds. Transition, final round. Grab your dumbbells. Hang power clean. Squat position. Let's go. Explosive triple extension. Shrug catch. Right? Jump shrug. Here we go. 10 seconds down. Woo! 15 seconds. We're halfway. Are you going to beat or maintain your reps? 10 seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Transition to the floor. Dumbbells down. Dumb tricep push-ups. Three, two, one. Again, keep those elbows tight. 30 seconds, you can do this. And if you're struggling, drop down to your knees, modify, work for that full range of motion. 15 seconds to go. Come on. Whew. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Transition. Grabbing your dumbbells. Romanian deadlift. We really gotta work on the technique here. Do not get sloppy. Shoulders back. Let's go, 30 seconds. Stretch. Squeeze, your legs are mostly straight. There might be a soft bend in the knee depending on your hamstring flexibility. This is a hip hinge, not a squat. So think vertical shins. Beautiful. If you had words on your shirt, you want someone to be able to read it the whole time. So make sure we're going back horizontally, not down vertically. Five seconds. Three, two, and transition to the floor. Floor dumbbell lat pullover. Grab the mat, grab the dumbbell on your back. Knees in. Let's go. Dumbbells over the chest. Reach back, touch the floor. Drive through the elbows. Drive through the armpits. To feel the back, not just the arms. Whew. Good job. Really stretch. Reach for that range of motion. Good. And exhale. You're doing great. We're more than halfway already. Nice, stay with me. Stay strong. Beautiful transition. Stay down on the floor, final exercise. Heel touch crunch. Let's go, lifting up, touching the heels, pressing the low back down, pulling the belly button in tight, engaging the pelvic floor, and keeping the shoulder blades off the mat. Come on. 
Breathe. You've got this. Almost there. Home stretch. Come on, keep moving. Activity completed. We did it. Give yourself a round of applause. Five rounds. Strength circuit. Did you beat or maintain your rep count? Guys, let's finish up with a nice stretch. Just take a second here to catch your breath. Deep breath in through your nose. Slight pause, exhale, purse lips. From here on out, we're cooling down, intentionally controlling our breathing. And since we're already seated here, let's go ahead and sit up nice and tall. Working on that posture, already feeling some stretch in the back. And let's extend one leg out and take this opposite knee, cross it over. Using your knee to leverage posture, we can take your elbow, touch it to the knee, using your opposite hand, pressing on the floor into posture to open up, a little bit of a twist here, pulling the core in, feeling this in the hip, the glutes, the back, the thoracic spine, and slow the breathing. From here, let's rotate back to the front, reaching under your calf, pull your shin towards your chest. And for some of you, this might be enough of a stretch, just go ahead and sit up nice and tall. If you're feeling a little bit more flexible, you can wrap your hands around the outside, continuing to find that proper posture sitting up tall. I'm really gonna stretch this glute here. It's a seated glute stretch. And if you can, continue to pull the shin towards the chest as we shift this heel over towards the floor, really opening that hip, sitting tall and breathing. And when you're ready, we'll switch sides. That leg that was just meant, we're going to straighten. Our straight leg, we're going to cross over. Pull yourself into posture. Sit tall. Hand to the floor. Elbow to the knee. Using this for traction as we open up. Oh, I just got a free adjustment there. And we're going to twist. Feel this in the glute, the back, the thoracic spine. Pull the core in. Sit tall. Control the breath. And when you're ready, we'll rotate back to the front. Reach your hands under your calf, pull your shin towards your chest, depending on your flexibility. This might be it. We're already feeling the glute. If you're feeling really moving, moving, we can reach around, sitting up tall, and even shift that heel over to really open that hip. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and extend both legs out. Really open that chest posture, straighten the legs if you can. And we're gonna lean forward, all while maintaining this open posture position. Some of you might be able to reach and grab the heels. Some might be able to lay all the way down. Others might need to bend the knees. Give yourself a little bit of a break here. Let's take a nice big deep breath. Slight pause, intentionally slowing and extending that exhale. Beautiful. And we're gonna release our legs. We did a lot of tricep work today, so don't really care what you do with your legs right now, but go ahead and sit up tall. Let's reach one arm back behind your head we compress just below the elbow and open and spread the chest, finding posture, and then taking this hand and reaching down, reaching back, really feel a nice stretch through the tricep, maybe even the upper back here. And when you're ready, so both arms, big stretch, and switching sides. Awesome. Thank you much for joining me. I can't wait to see you next time.